Hello everybody, it's Ollie from Games Alike, and today we are looking at the best games that are similar to Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Now, this game has taken the world by storm. It has over a million, that's right, a million active players. That's more than I've seen in any game on Steam in a very long time, and beats games like GTA and Dota, which is just crazy. But as the time goes on, the people who loved it a year ago are now getting a little bit bored of it, so I decided to show you a few alternatives. Now, before we start, I just want to say there is a link in the description to a guide that will teach you how to get all the games in this list for around half the price. It's the exact, it's the exact method I use to get all my games and I highly recommend you check that out. And there's also a link to a YouTube course which will teach you how to get millions of views on YouTube. It's made by me and it has the same advice I use to make this channel and a few of my other channels. So if you're interested in making gaming videos or any videos, please check that out. Anyway, let's jump right in. Last Man Standing is the ultimate battle royale. Sharpen your skills and kill everyone in your way as you hunt for guns, gear and glory in a massive battlefield where only one can be crowned the last man standing. This game has everything that Player Unknown Battlegrounds has. So if you like that kind of environment and you like battle royale shooters, this should be the first one that you start with. Battle Royale mod. Now, you may not know this, but this was made by the same people that made Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Yeah, they basically made it on here, it was super successful, so then they imported it and did it on their own platform. Now, it's a little bit different, you have the armor freeze game mechanics, and that makes for a completely different experience. It's a little bit clunky in some ways, but seriously, if you're a bit bored, this is actually a great thing to try out. Especially if you've got armor free and you don't really want to buy Player Unknown Battlegrounds, so you're like, ah, screw it, I'll get this for free. If you own the game. Unturned Arena Mode. Now Unturned is a game that's mega popular, it's completely free and has people going crazy. They released a mode called Arena and this mode allows you to basically do a battle royale. You have zombies, you have people, you can build bases, it's pretty damn epic and personally if I was getting a game on this list this would be the one I tried first. Ark is an extremely hot survival game that mixes players killing you and dinosaurs. That's right, dinosaurs killing you. They've basically released a game called Survival of the Fittest. You're in an arena, there's dinosaurs, there's people, you all have to kill each other, and it's the last man standing wins. Now, it's had mixed reviews, but I think there's serious potential for this being absolutely awesome. It literally makes me tingle when I watch the trailer, it's, it's crazy. Minecraft Hunger Games mod. Now, first off, I know you're sick and tired about hearing Minecraft mentioned in any gaming related video, but the truth is it's a damn good game that we all enjoyed absolute ages. Just because tiny kids come along and claimed it for their own doesn't mean that we have to leave it behind. So if you grab the Hunger Games mod, this basically puts you in a battle royale with loads of people in the Minecraft world. H1Z1 King of the Kill is basically begging to be like Player Unknown Battleground. They're very similar games, have very similar characteristics, but H1Z1 just didn't update quick enough, so now people have kind of neglected it and not really playing it anymore. But it still has a massive community, and again, is very similar. It's a large scale, fast paced shooter in which you have to compete for the top spot. It's player versus player, it takes a lot of skill, and has very similar game mechanics and scenery to Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Cullen is the most underrated game on this list, seriously. It has super negative feedback now just because there is nobody playing it. And I mean, if you pay 22 bucks for a game, you want people playing it. Now the game is graphically perfect, it works really well. It's very similar to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. You have to fight in Battle Royale to be the last one standing. But people just didn't cotton on. So it's a shame, but the graphics are awesome. I have no idea why it really failed, but Definitely, if you have a group of friends, you could try something like this out. But sadly, it didn't cotton on, and I hope it does eventually. Rust has a battle royale mode, but in truth, Rust is basically a more grinding version of Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Seriously, this game is brutal. It's survival of the fittest. You have to craft, you have to make your house, and you'll have people destroy you, grief you, stalk you torture you, enslave you, it's all, it's all online, people are douchebags, I swear it, like, it really teaches you how many psychopaths are in this population on this earth, it, it truly does. 
Islands of Nye Battle Royale is an online competitive first person sh shooter. It basically is Hunger Games inside a game. Now this game has tons of promise and it's still in closed alpha, but as soon as it's available properly, I think this is gonna be an absolute hit that's gonna take the world by storm. I seriously cannot wait to get my hands inside this and play this game because it looks a little bit faster paced than their unknown battlegrounds. So keep an eye out for it. Now we will end this with a wild card. What does a wild card mean? It's a game that really doesn't actually have to matter. You can't shout about it because it's a wild card, okay? And the wild card is dead by daylight. Now this game shouldn't be on this list, but if you enjoy that feeling of being chased and having to survive, then you will enjoy it. Now personally, it's not the same, but it's a wild card. So there you go, enjoy it or not, who cares? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to check out the cheap game guide and the guide and course on how to get tons of views on YouTube. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day, seriously. See you later, bye.